So if your goal is to lose weight, I'm sorry, stupid goal. Get healthy, that's a great goal. <laughs> this is an exciting day. We are at 90 days 90 of 180. Days Can you believe that? Of 180 days. Did you think we would get here? You know, I, I didn't know how much work it was going to be. I knew we would do it. I knew we would stick to it. But I didn't know how hard it was going to be. Yeah. It, it's, it's hard to um, be able to do it and do it well enough. And boy, some of the videos that we've done interspersed have just like been, oh, well, we did it. I'm not sure how good that one was. But every day every day we haven't missed a day and um, we've got 90 more and we are here to tell you that the next 90 are going to be a little bit different than the first 90 because we're going to do more how to's we want at the end of this three month period to really really be able to have helped someone go from day one to day nine to well, at, least, at least enough that, they, that the ch a change has been made. Yeah. That there's a, a change in attitude, a change in uh, daily practice, a change in lifestyle. And we are going to um, kind of un be more uh, transparent in whether we are good, whether we're sliding, whether we're doing it right. I think the dog wants out. Um, so that we take the journey with you because we certainly don't aren't perfect in this and so we want to be able to do that so we're going to do some really good how-to videos i suspect no one is perfect in this and that that's that's something you need to realize that don't beat yourself up it, it, it's hard to be a hundred percent and and perfect uh we're talking lifestyle change we're not talk, talking lifestyle perfection there you go so we, um, at Hardiness Approach, have four areas that we cover. So let's talk about the first area. The first area is real food. And real food has uh, a lot of different definitions. Can in Healthy food has a lot of different definitions. If I ask 30 different people what healthy food means, I'm gonna get 30 different answers. Real food, doesn't have that many answers. There, there are people that live real food to a certain degree. I want to live, eat this real food, but not that well, real food. Well, I, I have seen in the grocery store margarine called real margarine. <laughs> uh, I guess it can be real margarine, but it's implying that it, it's a real food, which it's created. I mean, it, it, yeah. it has maybe some real components, but some of it is not. It's synthesized to where you there's you. It's got different names. It's not real stuff. So if it's not full of chemicals and it's homemade or made, you know, like then it's real food. If if you, Crisco is not real food, name some real foods. Well, real food is going to be a carrot is very real. A uh, a piece of chicken meat is real. If you can grow a fish it, fish is real. Catch it, hatch it. So it, it's going to start it as something live, uh, really, whether it's plant or animal. Uh, it, it's going to have started live. And it won't have changed its form when you have it. You're the one who's going to change it to be edible. Now, there, there, there are a couple of exceptions. Butter from real raw milk. And grass-fed cows. Grass-fed cows. There's some difference. I mean, a dairy product is, is coming from... And animals produced it, so right. But but that's and we don't. That's real. That's natural. There's nothing unnatural about. We don't that. have a cow, so we have to buy our butter and our cheese and our milk. But we watch really carefully what it is that we do. So, real food is what we eat, and. It's what we make, and so in the in the vlogs that we're going to go forward with, I'm going to show a lot more of how to cook real food, so that it becomes how to select real food, how to how to be able to because we realize it. not everybody. I mean, we have to buy some of it, some of it we produce. Not everybody 
can produce as much of it as we do. Some can produce more. Yeah, but, for sure. But all of us need to understand how to identify real food, wherever we're purchasing it from, whether it's the grocery store, a farmer's market, directly from the farmer, wherever we're getting it from, to identify it as real food. And it's easy. My, my um, 16 year old, almost 17 year old grandson that I went to China with, I was very pleased to find out that he's trying to cut out sugar, that he really works healthy. He's the one that I took the class with, the cooking class with. And that was just really gratifying to see that he is very educated on it and is educating himself more and more. And so there's some <laughs> well, the sun went down a little bit. Our son called us and we had to take time to talk to him because it's a r wonderful opportunity to talk to him. So we have a light blaring in our eyes right now. So hopefully it turns out okay. Would you shut that door? Here? Our dog just went in. So I don't even remember where I was at, but I do know that I was going to say this about real food before I moved on to the next one. One of the things I'm going to be doing is talking a little bit more you know everybody knows that they need to get rid of the sugar but the fats are a little bit harder to understand so I will be doing some more um, how to and reason and scientific whatever you need to hear about like the cholesterol <coughs> the cholesterol myth and and how um, the good fats and the poor fats that we need to be eating so that's that one next one number two exercise exercise uh Exercise is essential. It's an important part of what you're going to do to be healthy. And what I want to say is most people want to lose weight. That's their goal. That's their big goal. And there's a lot of reasons that, that get them thinking that's what they need to do. What you got to keep in mind, and more and more people are understanding this, is that weight consists of that that fat that you have, the abdominal fat and the fat that accumulates other places, yes, you're right. And that's the stuff you need to lose. But at the same time, weight also is involved in your muscles and in your bones, both of which have more weight than fat does. So when you start building them up through exercise, instead of losing weight, you're actually going to gain weight. You may drop that abdominal which fat. Which is good, because that's is good, one of the first places you'll lose but it. But you're going to be adding it to your bones and your muscles, so you may actually increase in weight. So you got to keep that in mind. So if your goal is to lose weight, I'm sorry, stupid goal. Get healthy, that's a great goal. And, and what I, I've suggested before in these videos, and you're going to hear more about it from me, is your waist to hip ratio. Very, very much more important than looking at your weight. Monitor that, get that where it needs to be, and you'll be healthy. Now, as far as exercises is con are, are concerned, what you want to do is have a progressive plan to where you're going to start with doing exercises consistently that are going to make a difference. You don't want them to hurt you. You don't, you don't want them to be so much that you, you struggle to do them. But be consistent. Do enough to where you're comfortable and you're pushing yourself a little bit and keep doing it and keep doing it until you be, be get real comfortable with it. And then you're going to progress it up. You're going to do more repetitions. You're going to do more weight. You're going to do it for a longer period of time. Uh, you're going to do it more often. Uh, there's all kinds of ways to increase the intensity of it, to progress it to be more, and that's what you're going to be seeking to do over time. All right. Number three, emotional wellness, which is why we didn't tell our son, hey, we're in the middle of recording, can you call back? This is our fourth son, and his calls are very infrequent. So we drop everything when he calls, and he was in a very good mood, and he actually was talking about health and eating right and um he, he's uh, a month into his new plan of of eating good food less carbs more protein carbs is gone and yeah. less less portion a smaller portion yeah, smaller portion and he bought a recumbent bike because he has a bad back so he said so he's trying to build up i'm his so exercise, proud of him and so. he wow ah, that's way good but it's taking him a month of doing all the right things consistently to actually start seeing some differences and it, it's only been the last week 
that he started seeing the difference. This is the first week he didn't. So, so let's just first, talk about emotional weeks. emotional Sorry. wellness really quick. We uh, went last week and saw our daughter graduate. We had our children over here this week and our son was um, celebrating his 40th birthday and you saw the video where they were pulling their bikes up the mountain. We took a moment and went up into that mountain and went up into the forest and just smelled it and walked on it and knew that our emotional wellness depends on getting out and doing that and we you know we have got to recommit to be able to do that emotional wellness means that we get together with our families emotional wellness means that we take time for each for each other we take personal time it, it may mean simplifying your life getting rid of some of that busyness that really doesn't have to happen yeah where you have time to do the right things and and I have absolutely done that I this coming Wednesday is my last day to work as a nurse and I gave up uh, the trips we've been making to Portland every w Friday those are gone now uh, they were incredible and worthwhile and wonderful but we're trading them for something else. And so look at your life and simplify. So we'll be learning a lot more. We'll continue to look about wellness, uh, emotional wellness, because if you're not emotionally well, the other two aren't gonna work because the stress will make you gain just as much weight as not eating right. Number four is homesteading. And we have found that it's so wonderful to be our age and do a homestead because we don't have little kids. We don't have to go change diapers. We don't have to t run anybody to school. We don't have to carry them on our back in a backpack while we're doing things. Although we think it's great that it's these little cute. families it's are wonderful. doing it. It's neat. I would love to have done that. When I would kids. too. And I think homesteading works great for little families and I'm sure it works great for teenagers. I'm not sure it's the time to start it, but maybe it is. <laughs> Ooh, good luck to you. But if you're our age, and you have an opportunity to homestead, do it. It is one of the best, most fulfilling things that there possibly is. Well, it brings it all together. You know, it, it, it gets you the real food. It gets you the exercise. It gets you the emotional balance that you need. I mean, right now we're setting out on our deck. We're, we're surrounded by trees and, and fields and birds that are singing as they're getting ready for the, the nighttime. It, it's very relaxing. It is. I'm going to tell you a word. It's called equanimity. And equanimity uh, means is the quality to delight in small things. And that's one of the things that you need if you want to be able to homestead because you do the same chores every morning and every night. Whether it's Christmas, whether it's New Year's, whether, whether it's your it's birthday. Hot, whether it's cold, yeah. whether it's wet, whether we it's dry. We have to go out this morning. We had to get up very early because he had a seven o'clock meeting he needed to be to. But the chickens and the turkeys and the chicks and the garden still needed taken care of. And so that forces you to get up and go and do it. Exercise your body besides the exercise that we're going to do with him. It's amazing. I love it. And when I think of the world, how that farming was going down, and now I see the homesteading community just really going up. And I love it. Don't you love it? It's, it's fantastic. So all f four of these things, real food, exercise, emotional wellness, and homesteading. Hardiness Approach is going to continue to do for the next 90 days. Well, we'll do it after that. But every day for the next 90 days and really put some how-tos out there. A lot of how-tos. I want to share my goal with you. My goal is to live a healthy, vibrant, active 120 years or die trying. Yeah. <laughs>